Here's what you need to know for great looking window treatments. Before you buy your curtains, snap a photo of your windows. Measure at three different places and make a sketch, marking the largest measurement. Also, mark nearby vents, light switches, and electrical outlets, as you won't want to cover them. The size of your curtains makes a difference in the room's decor, and there are a variety of sizes available. 63-inch curtains usually sit at or just below the sill, 84-inch curtains sit at or just above the floor, and 95-inch curtains can be pulled on the floor for a regal appearance. You may need longer curtains if you plan on mounting the rod near the ceiling. For width, both curtains combined should be at least twice the width of the window and trim. Along with curtain size, the rod size and placement can make a difference too. For length, rods that extend two to three inches beyond the frame give a traditional look, allowing the curtains to partially cover the window when open. Extending the rod 10 to 15 inches beyond the trim reveals the entire window, making it look wider. Don't forget about the finials. Check the package to see if they're included in the total rod length. Also, with layered curtains, the double rod brackets might extend farther from the wall. So, where do you hang the rod? You can hang on or just above the frame for a flush appearance. Go six inches above the frame for a standard look, or hang near the ceiling with long drapes to make the room look taller. When you're figuring the total height for your curtain and rod placement, remember to account for how the curtain hangs on the rod. Hooks, rings, tabs, grommets, or pockets. To install the curtain rod, measure and mark the bracket locations on the wall. Double check the placement by holding the rod and brackets in place. Have someone help you and check for level. If your marks aren't lined up with studs, install wall anchors, drill a pilot hole, install the anchor, then set the bracket and drive in the screws. Rods wider than four feet will need a center support. Take off the finials and install the rod. Slide the curtain onto the rod and tighten the set screws. Finish up by installing the finials. With a little planning, your new curtains will be a great addition and help transform your home's decor. Want more great ideas and how-tos? Go to lowes.com slash how-to or just click to subscribe. Next, learn how to refinish hardwood floors.